Hello and welcome to Thoroughgood's short web series, Rapid Fire BI with Tableau 7.0. My name is Jessica Schmidt and I am a US-based consultant with Thoroughgood Associates. In this video, we are going to demo the ease and speed with which Tableau allows you to create time-based charts. And now, we'll jump right into Tableau Desktop to start this demo. First, I'm going to put profit onto rows. And notice how Tableau automatically sums the profit for our chart. However, if we wanted to change the aggregation, we could do so by changing the measure. We could change it to something like average or count. But for our demo, I will leave it as sum. Then I'll add the order date to the columns. And this is a pretty neat Tableau feature because Tableau automatically creates different groupings of time based on my order date. And as you can see in our data, order date is a single field. I don't have separate fields for years, months, quarters, and so on. Tableau automatically recognizes that as a date and splits them up for me so I can drill down to years, quarters, months, and days. And I can also easily drill back up by clicking the minimize button. It's also really easy to remove parts of this drill that I don't want. I just simply drag them and remove them from my chart. So now you'll notice that in this view, we get the overall total for each month. However, we might want to view this monthly data across years. For this, we can very easily change our month field to a month year format, just by clicking here. So now notice that Tableau lets us know that this field is now continuous because this turns green. And now we can also see the month by month profit data over each year of our data on one axis. So right now, Tableau suspects that I'm going to be using multiple series in this chart, but I, won't, but I don't plan to, so I'm going to change it to a bar chart here. I also want to be able to view my data regionally, so I want to add a geography filter. All I need to do is right-click region and sh click show quick filter. Now I'm able to filter down my data set as needed. For example, if I only click south, my bar chart updates appropriately. So, as you've seen, Tableau's ease of use allows me to quickly create interactive time-based charts with very minimal effort. And that concludes our demo on time-based charts in Tableau. Again, my name is Jessica Schmidt, and please feel free to contact me or Scott Bortz, our U.S. Tableau practice lead, with any questions about Tableau or Thoroughgood Consulting. For more Tableau demos, please check out the other short videos in this web series. Thanks for watching.